this is lecture 11 of our subject digital system design and the topic for today's lecture is multiplexers and demultiplexers. So, these are the contents of today's lecture. We will first, first we will be covering the concept of multipli multiplexing and then how this multiplexer can be used to design the circuits and how the next sub topic will be this one in which we will see that how we can use smaller multiplexer to realize a higher size multiplexer. Similarly, then we will proceed to the concept of demultiplexer and how this demultiplexer concept can be used to realize a higher size demultiplexer using some lower size demultiplexers. Okay. So, let us start with the concept of multiplexer. So, multiplexer it is a combinational circuit. Okay. It has multiple inputs to raise to power n as can be seen from its block level representation. So, there are 2 raised to power n inputs for n select lines. It is mentioned here for n select lines. So, these are n select lines and for these n select lines, there are 2 raised to power n inputs and the output is a single one. That means, these n select lines will be selecting one of these 2 raised to power n possible inputs and that selected input will be connected to the output. So, input will be connected to output, but which input will be connected to output? It will be decided by these n select lines. Okay. So, this is the concept of multiplexing. So, let us put n is equal to 1, it will be the smallest, smallest possible multiplexer. So, if you put n is equal to 1, that means there is a single select line, one select line and for one select line, we can see that 2 raised to power 1, that means there are 2 inputs. So, that is why it is mentioned 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So, we can mention it here, if these are the positional weights of these inputs, so 0 and 1. So, if you apply 0 here, then this I naught will be connected to the output. Okay. As you can see from the truth table, if you place S naught is equal to 0, then Y will be equal to I naught. Similarly, if you place S is S naught is equal to 1, then this I 1 will be connected to Y. As you can see, if S naught is equal to 1, then this Y output is equal to I 1. So, this is the concept of smallest possible multiplexer that is 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Similarly, we can have a 4 cross 1 multiplexer if we are having 2 select lines. So, we can see that there are 2 select lines and for these 2 select lines, there are 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 2. That means, 4 inputs are there, which can be labeled as 0, 1, 2 and 3 and there is a single output y. Okay. So, from the truth table, we can see that if we apply 0, 0, 0, 0 corresponds to 0 in decimal. So, that is why this 0 position is selected and it is getting connected to the output. That means, y is equal to i naught. Similarly, if I place S 1 is equal to 0 and S naught is equal to 1, that means, if 0, 1 are placed on these select lines, then this 1 will be selected and connected to the output. Similarly, for 1, 0, I will be getting I 2 at the output and for 1, 1, for 1, 1, I will be getting I 3 at the output. So, these are the expressions, these are the, sorry, these are the selected inputs which are made, which are made available at the output by the help of select lines. Okay. So, if you want to write the expression for this y multiplexer output, we can see that S 1 is equal to 0, S naught is equal to 0, that means S 1 bar, S naught bar, this is the main term, S 1 bar, S naught bar into I naught. So, this is S 1 bar, S naught bar into I naught. Similarly, for this second row, S 1 is equal to 0, S naught is equal to 1, that means S 1 bar, S naught into I 1. So, S 1 bar S naught into I 1. Similarly, for this third row, you can see that S 1 S naught bar S 1 S naught bar into I 2. Similarly, for this last one, we can have S 1 S naught into I 3 S 1 S naught into I 3. Okay. So, this is the expression for this y output and all these 4 expressions obtained from 4 rows are added together to generate me, to give me a single output y. So, if you want to realize circuit for this y, we can do it very easily by placing the select lines S 1, S naught and this will be S 1 bar, this will be S naught bar. Okay. Then we can realize the first product S 1 bar S naught bar into y naught. So, this is S 1 bar 
this is S naught bar and this will be I naught. Okay. So, this is the first product. Similarly, the second product says S 1 bar S naught. So, this is S 1 bar, this is S naught and this is I 1. Okay. Similarly, proceeding further third product S 1 S naught bar. So, this is S 1, this is S naught bar into I 2. Okay. Then last one S 1 S naught into I 3. So, all these four products will be added together with the help of an OR gate. to give me the expression for y. Okay. So, this is the circuit for 4 cross 1 multiplexer, internal structure of a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay. Similarly, we can go for higher size multiplexers, 8 cross 1 multiplexers, 16 cross 1 multiplexers. So, this is about the internal circuit of a multiplexer. So, now let us come to the application part of this multiplexer. How this multiplexer can be used to realize various circuits. Okay. So, design a MUX based circuit for the following expression 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. So, these are the min terms provided to me that means whenever I want to realize a circuit using multiplexer the my requirement is I should be having the min terms. Okay. So, these are the min terms and how to choose the multiplexer size if examiner has not mentioned to me which multiplexer is to be used then this is the rule for using choosing the multiplexer size number of select lines should be equal to the number of variables as we can see that there are three variables. So, I will be using that multiplexer which is having three select lines. So, the multiplexer with three select lines we can say that S 2, S 1, S naught which will be actually equivalent to A, B and C in our case. Okay. So, for these three select lines there will be eight inputs 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and there will be single output y. Okay. So, how to proceed about the circuit for this particular question? We have to simply connect these min terms. This expression shows that these 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, these min terms are high min terms. Okay. These min terms are giving me high output. So, simply choosing 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. So, this 1, this 2, this 3, this 6 and 7, all 5 are separated out. Okay. And it, they are connected to logic 1. Okay. They are connected to logic 1. Similarly, the remaining terms that is 0, 4 and 5. So, these 0, 4 and 5 they can be connected to logic 0. Okay. So, this is the simplest realization of a 3 variable problem using an 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Similarly, I can realize a 4 variable problem using a 16 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, this is a 4 variable problem for which I am provided with the min terms. So, this can be easily realized using a 16 cross 1 multiplexer. But if the examiner asks me to realize such a problem with a lesser size multiplexer that is an 8 cross 1 multiplexer. So, now I have to ensure that there are 4 variables A, B, C and D, but the select lines are 3. So, that means one of the select line has to be eliminated. Okay. Either we can eliminate any one of these, but it is convenient generally to eliminate either the LSB or the MSB. So, let us say if we want to eliminate the LSB. So, if you want to el eliminate the LSB. So, A has been eliminated and B, C and D. These are the three variables which are going to be used as select lines. So, I am marking these as B, C and D. And B, C, D can have 8 values, 8 set of values, triple 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and triple 1. Okay. 
So these are the eight set of values, and A and B, the select line which is eliminated, can have two values, zero and one. So if we study from A to A, B, C, D, these cell numbers can be labeled as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. So the terms which are provided to me as the high min terms they can be fed into this structure as 1 2 6 7 so this is 1 this is 2 this is 6 this is 7 then 8 then 12 14 and 15 12 14 and 15 okay so now we have to use this structure to find the connection for the input side It is very much clear that B C if B C D is equal to triple zero, then I naught will be selected. Similarly, for zero zero one, I one will be selected. Similarly, I two, I three, I four, I five, I six, I seven. Okay. Checking this I naught column, I can see that there is a single one which corresponds to A is equal to one. That means I naught should be connected to A. Similarly, I one. Is having a signal one which corresponds to a is equal to zero. That means it must be connected to a bar. Similarly, this is similar to the previous one, so it will also be connected to a bar. There is no one in this column. That means this i three will be connected to zero. Again, there is a single one. That means which should be connected to a. Similarly, there is no high term. That means it should be connected to zero. Then there are two high values. That means A bar plus A. That means this should be connected to one, and similarly there are two ones there as well. So this should also be connected to one. Okay. So in this way we have generated the connections, and we can implement these connections here. So if we use first, I am realizing this A I three and I five. So for this I am labeling these connections zero one two three four five six and seven. This is my y, so i three and i five are zero. So i three and i five both are logic zero. Okay, then I can check that i six and i seven are one. So this i six and i seven both are logic one. Then I can check a. So there are two. Connections for a i naught and i four. So this i naught and i four, these are connected to a. Okay. Then we can see that i one and i two are to be connected with a bar. So a bar, we have to generate first, and they are to be connected with this one and two. so this is the connection pattern for the input side of the eight inputs of an eight cross one multiplexer so in this way we can realize any expression using a multiplexer or a size lesser than that multiplexer similarly this circuit could have been realized using a four cross one multiplexer four cross one multiplexer as well in that case we would have eliminated two select lines a and b and a and b would have been placed here c and d would have been used to generate to select the four inputs of the four cross one multiplexer okay so this is the circuit realization using multiplexer okay now let's come to the realization of higher size multiplexer using lower size multiplexers okay so an eight cross one we are asked to realize an eight cross one multiplexer using four cross one multiplexer and two cross one multiplexer so we can choose any one so to realize this first we have to complete the number of inputs so there are four inputs there are Eight, eight inputs and four inputs. That means minimum two four cross one multiplexers are going to be used. So I am using two four cross one multiplexers. Okay. So four cross one, four cross one, zero one two three, zero one two and three. So these are the four inputs. Each of these four cross one multiplexers, I am labeling the outputs as y one and y two, okay? Because I need only one output, but there are two outputs y one and y two, so they have to be clubbed together. 
by using some additional circuit that additional circuit can be an OR gate or another smaller multiplexer 2 cross 1 multiplexer first I am labeling the inputs as I naught I 1 I 2 I 3 similarly these names can be extended to I 4 I 5 I 6 and I 7 both of these multiplexers will be having the same select lines okay. and these two outputs can be further fed as inputs to another 2 cross 1 multiplexer which will be having one its own one select line. So, and it will be giving me the final output y. Okay. So, we can mark these select lines as this will be my MSB that is S2 and these will be my two least significant select lines S1 and S0. So, this is the realization of an 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 4 cross 1 multiplexers and we have used 2 4 cross 1 multiplexer and 1 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, we have used 3 multiplexer to realize, realize an 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Now, we can see that if we choose S 2 S 1 S naught is equal to 1 1 0, this 1 1 0 corresponds to 6 that means I 6 should be connected to Y. So, let us check whether we are getting this I 6 connection at Y. So, S 2 is equal to 1. So, S 2 is equal to 1. S 1 S naught is equal to 1 0. S 1 S naught is equal to 1 0. So, this 1 0 will be reaching both the multiplexers. So, for this 1 0 this I 2 will be selected for this 1 0 this I 6 will be selected that means it will be giving me I 2 and this will be giving me I 6. So, now this 2 cross 1 multiplexer which is having one select line for this one this one will be selected that means this I 6 will be selected and I 2 will be dropped. So, this Y will be getting I 6 at the output. Okay. So, in this way we have realized an 8 cross 1 multiplexer using these combination of 4 cross 1 and 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Similarly, if you want to realize this thing using 2 cross 1 multiplexer then this minimum we have to use 2 cross 1 multiplexers into. So, this will be the structure these two will be further fed into another 2 cross 1 multiplexer which will be having the common select line and another 2 cross 1 multiplexer for the final output. Okay. So, this will be S 2, this will be S 1 and this will be S naught and these will be my inputs I naught to I 7. So, this will be the realization of an 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 cross 1 multiplexers. So, all in all 7 2 cross 1 multiplexers are used to realize an 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, now let us come to the concept of D multiplexers. Okay. So, like multiplexers D multiplexers are also the combination circuits which act like the reverse of multiplexers. Okay. Multiplexers were having multiple inputs, but D multiplexers are having multiple outputs, but the behavior is identical one of the in multiplexers one of the input was selected and in case of this D multiplexer one of the output will be selected, but the flow will be still the same. Thus, in multiplexer the selected input was connected to the output, but in case of D multiplexer to the selected output my single input will be connected and this selection will again will be done with the help of select lines. Okay. So, we have mentioned it here it is also a combination circuit it has multiple outputs 2 raised to power n and these two out of these 2 raised to power n outputs one of the output will be selected by using the select lines one of the output is selected and this selection this selection is done by with the done with the help of select lines and there are n select lines selection of the output depends on the values applied at the selection lines which are n in number. Okay. So, similar to the one which we have covered in the multiplexer case we can see that if we put n is equal to 2 then we can realize a 1 cross sorry 
uh, yes 1 cross 4 d multiplexer. So, 0, 1, 2 and 3 and there are 2 select lines for 2 select lines there are these 4 outputs. Okay. So, how to study the behavior of this demultiplexer? We can check that this S1 and S0, if they are 0, 0, then Y0 will be selected and this Y0 will be connected to my input, which is I. Similarly, for 0, 1, Y1 will be selected and it will be connected to I. Similarly, for 1, 0, Y2 will be selected and it will be connected to I. Similarly, for 1, 1, y 3 will be selected and it will be connected to i. So, at a time only one of the output will be selected and it will be connected to the input. Okay. So, but this thing we have to ensure that the input must be high, so that we are able to recognize that the selection has been done appropriately, because rest of the outputs are already low. So, if this 1, if this i is also equal to 0, then all the outputs will be having 0, that, that in that case it will not be clearly showing which of the particular output is getting selected for that particular selection line value. Okay. So, we have to ensure that i is equal to 1. Okay. So, now we can check that y 3 is giving me single high entry or single non-zero entry for which I can write expression for y 3 as s 1 s naught into i. Similarly, for y 2 I can check that this 1 corresponds to 1 0 that means s 1 s naught bar into i. Similarly, for y 1 for this i we can check that s 1 bar s naught this is s 1 bar s naught into i. Similarly, for this y naught this one s 1 bar s naught bar s 1 bar into s naught bar into i. Okay. So, this is how we have realized the expression for these 4 outputs and these 4 outputs now can be converted into a circuit. So, this is s 1 this is s naught and I can also be taken here as it is going to be used for all the products. So, if you want to realize the internal circuit of this D multiplexer, we can see that Y 3 is equal to S 1 S naught into I that means, this is S 1, this is S naught and this is I this actually i for i we are we do not require this not gate so i am removing it okay so this i will be used directly to realize y3 similarly for y2 s1 s not bar into i so this is s1 s not bar into i this is y 2. Similarly, y 1 is s 1 bar. So, this is s 1 bar, this is s naught and this is i. So, this becomes y 1 and the last one is s 1 bar s naught bar, this is s 1 bar, this is s naught bar and this is i. So, this is the internal circuit of this 1 cross 4 T multiplexer. Similarly, using this concept we can realize the circuit for a 1 cross 8 D multiplexer as well. Okay. So, this is the internal, this is about the internal structure of a D multiplexer. Now, let us come to the extension of this D multiplexer. We have been asked to realize 1 cross 8 D multiplexer using 1 cross 2 D multiplexers. So, like in the case of multiplexers, we were asked to prepare 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So, this is the analogous part of that conversion or we can say that construction higher order multiplexer construction and this is the higher order D multiplexer construction. So, let us start with that. So, we can see that we are provided with this 1 cross 2 and we have to realize in 1 cross 8 D multiplexer. Okay. So, we can easily see that minimum of 4 D multiplexers will be required. So, let us start with the reverse, we are first completing the number of outputs. Okay. So, let us take 4 
demultiplexes so these are 1 cross 2 d multiplexes so these will be the outputs which can be labeled as 0 1 from inside and outside the, we can have any names we can name them as per our convenience as we are designing an 8 cross 1 so i am naming them as they would have been named for 8 cross 1 d multiplexer okay so this is the select line s not this is lsp this thing we have to remember that in case of multiplexer on the extreme right side we were having the multiplexer with the most significant select line but in case of d multiplexer we will be having the least significant select line on the extreme right okay so these will be having four inputs separate inputs but we have to realize only one input okay so for that we will be further using 1 cross 2 d multiplexers okay with again the same labeling and a common select line which will be S 1 and again there will be 2 inputs. So, these are the inputs. Okay. Again now the inputs have reduced to 2, but I need only 1. So, I will be using another 1 cross 2 D multiplexer. which will be having one input this will be my input i and this will be having select line which will be the most significant s2 okay so this is the internal structure or we can say the structure of a 1 cross 8 d multiplexer which is being realized using 7 1 cross 2 d multiplexers okay now let's take an example if s2 s1 and s0 would have been selected by using a particular value let us take an example 101. One. So, for this 101 one, which is equivalent to 5 that means y5 should be selected okay. and this y5 should be connected to i. So, let us see whether we are getting this connection or not. So, s2 is equal to 1, s1 is equal to 0 and s0 is equal to 1. So, s2 is equal to 0, s1 is equal to 0 and s0 is equal to so, for this S2 is equal to 0, we can see that this one will be selected and there will be i here and there will be 0 here because it is not selected. Similarly, for this 0, we can see that this will be selected and this will be selected. So, this i will be passed here. Sorry. 101. So, this S2 is equal to 1 actually. So, this S2 is equal to 1 and let us take change that value. We have put S2 is equal to 0, S1 is equal to 0 and S0 is equal to 1. So, let us take this value for this actually 1 will be selected 0 0 1 that means y 1 will be selected and it should be connected to i. So, let us proceed further. So, this i will be connected here and for this we will be having a 0 here similarly for this 0 this will be 0 will be placed here and it, there it will also be 0 then for this 1 that means this will be selected for all the demultiplexes but this will be the only one which will be getting the i input but all the outputs will be 0 okay so this is how we can realize a 1 cross 8 d multiplexer using 7 1 cross 2 d multiplexers. Okay. Similarly, we can realize 1 cross 16 d multiplexer using some smaller size d multiplexers by appropriately, for appropriately first completing the number of outputs and then going backwards. So, with this we come to the end of this lecture. Thank you very much.